Hey, what's up guys? We're gonna look at intensity and amplitude. So you should remember that the intensity is the, defined as the power per unit area. And we have this equation, intensity is power divided by area, and we measure intensity in units of watts per meter squared. We're gonna use a different relationship today. We're gonna to look at the relationship between intensity and amplitude. And we can say that the intensity is proportional to the amplitude squared. We're gonna write that as intensity is proportional to A squared. And this is where lots of people get confused. The A stands for amplitude and not area in this relationship. So a little recap, what is amplitude? Amplitude is simply the height of a wave from the equilibrium position to the peak. So in these three waves here, we've got the green wave, a blue wave, and a purple wave. The purple wave has the greatest amplitude, therefore it will have the greatest intensity. But we can use this relationship, intensity is proportional amplitude squared, to do some calculations. So let's look at those three waves. The green wave has got an amplitude of two centimeters. The blue has got an amplitude of four, and the purple has got an amplitude of six centimeters. We're given a little bit more information. The green wave has an intensity of 20 watts per meter squared, and we can now use all of this information to calculate the intensity of the blue wave and the purple wave. So the blue wave relative to the green, the amplitude is a factor of four divided by two greater. So the increase in amplitude is four over two, which is an increase in amplitude of two. Now we use our relationship. The intensity is proportional to amplitude squared. So the increase in amplitude is going to be an increase of two squared, which is an increase of four. So the intensity of the blue wave is going to be the intensity of the green, which is 20, times by four, which is 80 watts per meter squared. It's important to note here that it's proportional to the amplitude squared. So even though the amplitude only doubled, the intensity went up by a factor of four. And we can do the same for the purple wave. How much has the amplitude gone up by relative to the green? So the increase in the amplitude is six over two, which is a factor of three increase. We know that the intensity is proportional to the amplitude squared, so the intensity must increase by a factor of three squared, which is an increase of by a factor of nine. So the intensity of the purple, we can simply say is the intensity of the green, which is 20, multiplied by nine, which is 180 watts per meter squared. So a small increase in amplitude has had a massive increase in the intensity. Let's look at another example. So here we have a graph that shows the displacement versus time for a sound wave. And the intensity of this original sound wave is eight watts per meter squared. The question asks us to draw the wave for a sound wave with an intensity of 32 watts per meter squared. So we need to use our relationship that the intensity is proportional to the amplitude squared. So the original wave, as we've seen from the information, has an intensity of eight watts per meter squared. The new wave has an intensity of 32 watts per meter squared. So what is the factor increase in intensity? Well, we just do 32 divided by eight, which is an increase of a factor of four. So the new wave has got an increased intensity by a factor of four. We know that the intensity is proportional to amplitude squared. So if we just flip that proportionality around, we say that the amplitude is proportional to the square root of the intensity. So if the intensity has increased by a factor of four, the amplitude must increase by a factor of root four, which means it's going to increase by a factor of two. So therefore the new amplitude is the original amplitude, which is 10, we can see that on the graph, times by two, so it's 20 centimeters. And then if you're in the exam, all you'd have to do is draw that graph on with an increased amplitude of 20 centimeters. Let's have a look at another example. The graph below shows the displacement versus time for a source of microwaves at a point. We need to draw the wave if the intensity of microwaves is doubled. So let's look at our relationship. Intensity is proportional to amplitude squared. We can rearrange that again and say that the amplitude is proportional to the square root of the intensity. So we wanna double the intensity here. 
So we can say that the amplitude must increase by a factor of root two, which is about 1.4. So we now need to work out the new amplitude. The amplitude is going to be the original amplitude, which is four multiplied by root two. So we get an amplitude of 5.66 centimeters. And then you just simply draw the graph on. So the new amplitude is about 5.7, which is what I've sketched on this graph, as you can see here. So the intensity is doubled, but the amplitude is only increased by a factor of root two. So it's really important to understand this idea of proportionality. We say that the intensity is proportional to amplitude squared. So if the amplitude goes up by a factor of two, the intensity increases by a factor of two squared, which is four. If we increase the amplitude by four, it will increase the amplitude by four squared, which is 16. And you can see that's going to happen for an increase in amplitude of 10, we're going to get an increase of 10 squared, which is going to be an increase in intensity of 100. The reverse happens if you reduce the amplitude. So if we divide the amplitude by two, the intensity is going to go down by two squared. So it's going to decrease by a factor of four. If we decrease the amplitude by a factor of three, it's going to decrease the intensity by three squared, which is going to be a decrease of nine. It gets a little bit more tricky when you look at changes in intensity. But you just got to remember that you can rearrange this proportionality and say that the amplitude is proportional to the square root of the intensity. So if the intensity increases by a factor of two, the amplitude will increase by a factor of root two. The amplitude, if the intensity increases by a factor of four, it will increase by a factor of root four, which in this case is two. If the intensity increases by a factor of 10, it, the amplitude will increase by a factor of root 10. If you decrease the intensity by a factor of two, the amplitude will decrease by a factor of root two. And if you decrease the intensity by a factor of three, then the amplitude will decrease by a factor of root three. Really important to understand proportionality. So intensity is proportional to amplitude squared, but the amplitude is proportional to the square root of the intensity. So in summary, the intensity is the power per unit area, and we measure the intensity in watts per meter squared. Do not confuse this equation. The intensity is the power divided by the area with this relationship that we're using in today's video. We're looking at the relationship between intensity and amplitude. And we must remember that the intensity is proportional to amplitude squared and that the amplitude is proportional to the square root of the intensity. If you double the amplitude, the intensity increases by a factor of four. That's it. Thanks for listening. See you all soon.